Um, with other rotaries, they go in like this. With the Rotoboss, it goes in the other way. So I'm just going to take this and flip it around, which kind of makes sense. It's a little bit easier to access. Um, if you don't do it this way, then you have to invert your engrave. And it comes with a cord that's plenty long enough to, to get away with doing that. So I'm going to engrave on my test mug. One of the things with the roller rotary that you have to be careful about is, see how there these teeth are on it here? When you place this um, on these wheels and then rotate them, it has the tendency to slop around a little bit. Now, notice how uh, when you're moving um, this uh, stop on the other end back and forth, you do it with this wheel here, uh, which allows uh, really good control over the movement. Um, so I've got it locked into place really well, so it should be stable enough, and that'll, that'll keep it in the right spot. Um, also, this clip will hold this into place. I'm going to place the lip of the lid just behind this wheel here. So now when I rotate it, it should, um, it should rotate pretty cleanly, and it is. There's a tiny bit of wobble, but it's not going to, it's not going to make any difference for the size of engrave that I'm doing. Um, I've got it plugged in here. I'm just going to set my origin way far away and then do a frame. And you can see that this is moving. Uh, one thing, I haven't yet set up the number of steps yet, so this will be incorrect, but I'm just going to just going to test my height here. And this looks like it's going to need to go down. Okay, and measure the height on this side. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll move it over, measure on this side. Okay, there we go. I'm going to square it, and the way that I'm going to square it now is by just aiming this LED at the center of the tab there. On the other side, I'll do the same. I'll just aim it at the center of this uh, back angle piece here. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I think we've got our height set up correctly. Um, uh, I like the, uh, on the Rotoboss, I like the, the mast. This one is the single mast version, but um, being able to rotate up and down um, is really easy with this, with this, um, this big knob here. Um, okay, I think we're ready to engrave. Now I'll show you how to set it up in the software. All right, so the roller diameter is 56 millimeters, and we should be good to go. Okay, um, the one thing is because I have this mug end for end from what I was doing last time, I'm going to want to rotate this around. So if I hold shift, it'll uh, give me a perfectly flat ro rotation. All right, I'm going to send it to the machine, send it to the laser. <clears throat> I got my speed set to 250 millimeters a second, my power set to 30, my air is turned off, and I set my origin to middle left. Now let's frame it. That looks about what I would expect it to look like. Okay, ready? Fire lasers. All right, let's see how it looks. So what I'm using to clean is heavy duty citrus degreaser, the Zep brand. Um, it's cheap, it's easy to get hold of, Canadian Tire has it. Um, all right, we're going to give this a scrub and see how it looks. Yeah, that's coming off nicely. Look at that, so pretty. There we go.